a little interesting. So here's what I would say. My best advice, okay? My best advice on if you want to be successful in your dating life and you are a believer in Jesus. If you're not a believer in Jesus, you're not going to understand this next part. I apologize up front. I know uh, we usually try to talk about everyone who's on a journey is going to come, but you're going to have to realize that you're not going to understand this next part fully. We want you to believe in Jesus. We know that that is the truth and it's the best and fullest life. But if you're not there yet, that's your choice. But for those of you who are believers, here's my bonus tip when it comes to dating. Start running. Okay. All right. There we go. I did not plan that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You can keep running if you want. but it's <laughs> So start running. That's just <laughs> All right. That just came out of nowhere. I love it. So here's what tends to happen. It doesn't mean you're running from someone else. It means you're running to the glory of God. You're running to God's presence. You're not running from a bad relationship or anything else. You're literally running, okay, as fast and as hard as you can after God. Now here's what happens. All right. It gets awkward, all right? When you're running after God, when you're running after God, it gets a little awkward. It stands out. And if you truly want to run after God, two things happen. Are you ready? Two things happen when you truly run after God, okay? You start standing out, and you make other people a little uncomfortable, all right? Because your life, you are thri you're striving after God's word. You are going to access all the time. You're signing up for mission trips. And here's the other thing. That's the first thing that happens. You know what the second thing happens? you start becoming attractive to a new type of people. You ready? All right? And when you're running, all right? When you're running, okay? You start being a little weird, and you start standing out. There you go. Okay, go over here. It's a little different. Help me out, help me out. There you go, there you go, there you go. All right? Uh, now, here's the thing. It's totally awesome. But you start standing out and something's a little different about you. And then you only attract the people that's running just as hard as you are. And here's the thing. Too many times we try to run and date someone at the same time. And it doesn't work. And we're exhausted. And we, so we turn around and we drag them to church. Hey, come. This mission trip would be awesome. It would be really cool. Yeah, it's awesome. I promise it would be good. We have makeout sessions at night. No. <sighs> We try to lie and we try to do all kinds of things to make it work instead of being running after God. So here's the thing. When you're running after God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and your strength, and you look to the person to the right or left and they're running after God just as hard as you are, that's the person you want. Not the person behind you. The person who's running beside you. And it gets to the point where awkwardness doesn't matter. And you fall in love, and your love is so strong and so wonderful, it makes it awkward for other people. But too many times, we're dragging dead bodies, and we're tired. Not because we're fat like me, <laughs> but because it's exhausting. It's exhausting to drag dead weight and then try to grow our own spiritual life. So when you date, this is my tip. Look to someone who's running to God just as fast as you are. For me, it wasn't rain, shine, and, and sunshine, and, and rainbows. That's me when Katie and I went on a mission trip. Yes, I had long hair, and I, you can see my chin, all right? Woo! Me, I'm telling you, just 20 feet. Woo! So here's the thing. Katie and I were dating for a few weeks when this picture was taken, and for me, we were, we were steady, we were exclusive, but we weren't, I wasn't quite sure if Katie was the one, and I didn't know just yet, we're still trying to figure things out. So Katie and I decided we want to experience this mission trip completely free from a relationship. So we're going in on it, that it's all God, and we're not going to talk or, or uh, hold hands or try to sneak away at those little moments in a mission trip. Nope, it's going to be completely pure. And you know what I saw? I saw Katie in a whole new light. I saw Katie worshiping God, serving God 
that I never would because I saw her as, a, as my girlfriend first. And I started seeing her as a woman of God. And that was the moment I knew I want to start pursuing something more than just a dating relationship with her. Because I knew she could be someone that could encourage me into my dating relationship. And she was running after love as fast as I was. That is the type of relationship you should strive for. Now, is it perfect? Katie and I, perfect? Absolutely not. Will you find your spouse on Breakaway Wichita? Probably not. All right? But are you running after God so hard that you look to the person left and right? Someone's keeping up with you? That's the person you should do. You should, should choose. Let me pray. Woo! Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for awkwardness. Thank you, Lord, for these people in this room and those who are watching online. I pray right now that you get glorified in each of our lives. That you get to the point where we're not ashamed of you. That even in our dating life and every other aspect of our life, we want to glorify you and love you more than anything. So I pray right now, Lord, that each of us can strive after you. Give us boldness and courage. Thank you, Lord. Just name I pray. Amen. All right. So here's